Hello everyone, it's Marion Wallace with Restoring Ghettos Forgotten and I'm here today with a conversational uh, um, piece about male trauma victims and how because of being a victim of trauma, whether it be uh, physical trauma or it could have been sexual abuse, whatever the case may be, guys, you, you guys also pick the wrong women and you oftentimes pick women with similar traits to your abuser. So that's what this video is about. Um, I'm speaking to the gentlemen today. I wanna to encourage our men because we need you. We need you guys. And sometimes it just takes a perspective of a certain topic to make us really think about certain things. And then that opens us up to possibly to healing. So that's what this video is about. Uh, please feel free to click and subscribe on my channel if you haven't done so already. And if you feel like this video is informative, please feel free to share it. I really appreciate it. So today we're talking to the men, the gentlemen, that may have experienced trauma in their childhood that um, hasn't even talked about it yet, hasn't, uh, keeps it all in and bottles it all up because men are told, you know, you don't cry, you suck it up and you just man up. And you know, and so then they 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 just smuggle all the aggression, all the anger, all the hurt, all the pain, and they just keep it in until they explode. And I'm here to tell you guys, you guys are exploding. You're exploding all over. I mean, it's real. Uh, you you guys also have to deal with your traumas. You know, whether it be um, physical abuse or sexual abuse, you guys have to deal with that stuff too. And you know, even with me talking to men today, I also wanna to talk to the ladies. We also have to give our men room to express themselves and to be vulnerable around us because if they can't be, be vulnerable around their mates, people that is supposed to love them, then they can't be vulnerable anywhere. And so we need to give them that space to be able to talk about those things that hurt them in their childhood not to stay there of course but so that they can heal the more we expose it the more we're, we're more apt to heal and so we need to give them that safe area and that safe space that they can you know sit down and talk to us about some of the things that happened to them in their childhood and be okay with them you know if they feel like they need to be vocal or they mean they may need to cry they may need, you know they may just to express themselves let's let's give them that space let's give them that freedom without saying you crying oh my gosh you're so darn weak don't use we need to stop doing that even with our young sons we need to let them feel hurt and pain and express it instead of telling them to keep it in that's why we have so many uh emotionally unavailable men ladies because we don't allow them to express their emotions and and expressing your emotions is very healthy so we need to let them be able to do that so that they can express their emotions in a healthy manner instead of bottling, bottling them all up and holding them in until they explode. So we wanna create that environment for them. But man, I'm back to you. Uh, if you have experienced any type of trauma, because see, oftentimes we forget that when, when families, you know, come together, there's husband, there's wife, and then there's children, we, we gotta remember, there's not just little girls, there's little boys as well. And the little boys and the little girls are growing in, up into the home together. So it's not just the little girls that possibly could be experiencing trauma, it's, it's uh, boys too. So we need to understand that some adult men have been through childhood traumas. And we have to consider that, and we have to not make excuses for them, but help them along their heal, you know, their healing processes by allowing them to be vulnerable with us. And I, when I say vulnerable with us, uh, the women that are in their lives, whether it be their sisters, their aunties, their mothers, or whatever the case may be, their friends, we need to give them that space to be vulnerable with us so that they can talk about certain things so that they can get to actually growing to heal because we have to get our men to that space. We want you guys to get healthy and whole because we need you. We need you and we love you and you're important to our community and we need you to lead our community. And the only way you can do that is if you're healthy and you're whole. And I'm here to tell you that if you were abused physically, even if you were sexually abused, I'm here to tell you in case nobody ever told you, it was not your fault. 
Nothing you could have done warranted somebody violating you. Nothing. Nothing. Trust me. And the sooner you get rid of the guilt and the shame of what happened to you in your childhood, the sooner you're able to heal and become the best version of yourself. You'll be able to walk in God's uh, glory and his purpose. And I'm gonna have to finish this video because again, I'm in Houston and it's 93 degrees where I'm at right now. So this, this camera phone is not gonna hold up much longer in this hot car. And I don't wanna cut the AC up too loud and create too much outside noise, but it's really hot here. But I wanna get my point across because I think sometimes we talk about women healing all the time, but we forget our men, because you are the head and not the tail, we need you to lead us. So we need you to be healthy, we need you to be strong, and we need to allow you that vulnerability, that space, that safe space that you need with the women that are in your lives. Um, also, I wanted to point out how and why, because, you know, I wanna get this clear. Because of some of us growing up in traumatic uh, life experiences and even in sexual abuse experiences, we don't think like, you know, er everybody else. We think differently. And so because of that, we need to understand subconsciously we make decisions based off of what, what was trained to us as normal. So there are a lot of the abuse and the, the stuff that we saw in front of us, it made us think, you know, that must be normal subconsciously. I mean, we wouldn't say that out loud, but subconsciously, those are the type of mates that you will learn that sometimes you look at your mates and you don't know what the hell was, you know, if you ever get healed long enough to say, what the hell was I thinking? Why did I pick that mate? You pick that mate because that mate was the closest thing to perhaps your abuser or something that you saw in your childhood that made that person fit into your norm. I want you to get this. Men, some of you have been tied to toxic women for several years. I'm sorry, a toxic woman is not your soulmate. She is not your soulmate. If she is abusive verbally, let's be real, because even though you guys are, are, are men, you guys experience abuse too, maybe in a different way, but you do. You have picked a woman that's similar to your abuser. This woman is controlling, she's manipulative, and she likes to isolate you. She wants to keep you away from your family, your friends, and even your own children. That woman is toxic and she's manipulative, and that is not your soulmate, I'm sorry to tell you. She isn't. Because somebody that's your soulmate, I don't care how hurt you are or how broken you are, they're gonna come along and they're gonna compliment you and they're gonna add to you and they're gonna help you grow and they're gonna nurture you and they're gonna want all these good things for you. They're not gonna want any good thing withheld. Withholding you from your family, that's a good thing uh, because you need to be able to commune with your family. A person that's really for you is not gonna withhold any good thing because God is not gonna withhold anything good. So if you need to ask yourself that question, ask yourself, would God give you somebody that was keeping you away from the most important things in your life? And that answer should always come up, no, he would not withhold any good thing from me. So I'm here to tell you, gentlemen, if you've ever experienced any type of trauma in your past, in your childhood, or even in your adult life, You've experienced any kind of trauma, any kind of sexual abuse. First of all, it was not your fault. We should have adults protecting our children at all times, not victim, you know, victimizing them, but protecting our children. And so it wasn't your fault if you were victimized, you know, you were victimized, you were abused, you were assaulted, you know, all of those things. It's, it's not your fault. So always get that. It's not your fault. Let go of the guilt and the shame. Do your work that you need to do internally so that you can be healthy and whole. But I'm here to tell you, uh, just because you've been with that mate for 10 plus years, if all you do is fight, bicker, argue, and that person is manipulative, they keep you separated and isolated from your family, that person is not of God. That person needs healing as well because that person is holding on to, and you know what? The reason why you guys may have been able to be together for so long because you have like trauma bonds. You have trauma bonds. Somewhere in that person's life, they may have experienced trauma. You've experienced trauma. 
So like energy attracts. And I'm trying to get this clear to you. You don't want to spend too much of your lifetime hurt and all bottled up because it makes you angry, it makes you aggressive until one day you snap and you blow up. That's what's going on in the world today. People are snapping because we're not taking care of our mental health. This goes out to the men. Men, we need you to be healthy and whole. Deal with your traumas, deal with your hurts and your pains so that you can lead our community to a better state of being. So this is for you, I wanna tell you I love you. I absolutely adore you because guess what? God loves and adores you too. And he loves you and he wants you to be whole and healthy and experience life to the fullest. And that's not arguing with your mate every day. That's not fighting, that's not bickering. That's not settling for the men that settle. That's not what God wants you to do. He wants you to have every good thing, every good thing in your life. And you cannot do that when you're tied to the wrong person. I tied the trauma, um, the trauma that men experience as little boys and maybe even in their adult lives, whether it be physical or sexual trauma, abuse, into picking the wrong women because it all ties together. It ties together for women. When we've experienced abuse and trauma, it ties to the type of men that we pick when we're not healed. So this is very important. Some of you guys have been attached to toxic women for too long. And you wouldn't know a good woman if she was sitting smack dab in your face because the wrong type of woman or being has been normalized somewhere when you were being trained and reared up. So let's, let's, let's change our minds so that we can change our lives and live effective whole lives, okay? So I wanna challenge you guys to do that. I love you, I absolutely adore you, and I know God loves and he adores you too. Stop holding on to all that hurt and that pain and that guilt and, that sh and, and the shame of everything that happened to you and start telling your stories. And I'll just mention this one thing, then I'm done. There was a gentleman on my Facebook page that had told, he started to tell his story. And I, hello everyone, sorry, I told you guys, I warned y'all. So I'm gonna make this short, but I just wanted to finish that uh, I just wanted to finish that there's a gentleman that's on my Facebook page that told his story of sexual abuse as a, a young man and he was abused by a man and his story was so powerful because we uh, men don't tell their stories enough and with him telling his story he was able to let go of a lot of the guilt and the shame and he was able to actually progress and become a better man because he didn't realize it wasn't his fault. It wasn't that it was something that he asked for. It's something that he was the person that was hurt or violated. So it allowed him to grow and his family was growing along with him. And I thought it was such a beautiful thing. So I encourage you all that if you haven't even told your story of, of, of uh, any type of abuse, sexual abuse or physical abuse, start telling your stories, regardless of who it offends, because it shouldn't offend them if you were a child and you had no control over who was supposed to take care of you and protect you and cover you. Um, so tell your stories so that you can heal. Cover scars, never heal. It's time for us to heal. Let's tell our stories. Let's empower our community to be greater and better. Uh, again, I love you guys. I'm sorry my phone cut off and I'm gonna, um, and I wish you nothing but the best, but always remember to put God first and to do your inner work. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.